Howdy. Today we're looking at the Sorrow Fang. This is Varuna's signature melee weapon. And it is a heavy blade. Kind of looks like it should be a hammer, but it's a heavy blade. And it's kind of funny. So, let's get into it. Sorrow Fang has 1.17 attack speed, 2.6 meters of range. It has a follow through of 60%, 12 point five combo duration why is that what do i have on that's increasing my combo duration that shouldn't be the case oh duh i have Rado with primary dexterity on uh but anyways back to stats fall through 60 percent which is you know typical for heavy blades 20 percent crit chance 2.0 multiplier 20 percent status kind of below average but usable eight puncture 112 slash 80 impact 200 total damage it is slightly slash weighted now what it does that's fancy is the trait. Heavy attacks with combo multiplier of 8x or more create a vortex that pulls in lifted enemies. Only 5x combo multiplier needed when wielded by Verona. Now, we don't have to consume our uh, combo because we have Discipline's Merit nowadays. Tenokai. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> Sorry about that. Whoa, buddy. Now, that's funny because it pulls enemies in. And that's grouping. Now, we can make it even schnazzier by using electric damage. And melee influence also spreads electric and is broken. So melee influence to spread damage. Electric here, because electric pulls stuff in. I tried blast, but I think purely electric works better. The enemies get pulled in, the electric chains between them, big PP damage. Blood rush for crit chance, sacrificial steel for crit chance, and it's doubled on heavy attacks for even more crit. Amalgam Organ Shatter for faster heavy attack windup speed. That's not really needed. Just use normal Organ Shatter, probably, honestly. But crit damage, Shocking Touch for electricity, Voltaic Strike for more electricity, and status chance. Seismic Wave, because we're going to be using heavy slam attacks. This will triple our damage. Quickening for attack speed and combo duration. And Primed Pressure Point for melee damage. Though you can switch this out for condition overload. Um, it's really up to you. Ah, I'd say, right now I'll use Prime Pressure Point, but in a scenario where you're spreading statuses like with a companion, then you're likely better off with Condition Overload. But for now, we'll use this. I feel like I'm talking way too fast. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. We're on Rhino. We're not going to be casting Roar, so you can see nothing is affecting our damage and no companion. This is just the weapon on its own. Let us build up our combo. Thank you, Andrew100. Holy hell, I am so glad I have Rauda now. This thing is beautiful, and it is already my baby. I would sell my soul if I had to, to keep this thing. There we go. Now, we just need melee influence to proc. At the same time, we get discipline's merit to proc. There we go. That took a long time. So look at that. Oh, they're all dead already. <laughs> It doesn't have a huge radius on the sucky suck, but it's still there, and it's funny. Look at this. Picks them up, and it pulls them in. I don't know why it didn't damage that guy. That was weird. But uh, it's pretty juicy, if you ask me. It just pulls all of them in. The electric procs can just spread everywhere, and it's just it's cool. It's very, very snazzy. And this is just the weapon on its own. We have no armor strip. These are full armor, guys. No armor strip. No outside buffs. No viral damage. I didn't have my melee influence proc yet there. Here's all being like, close enough together. Look at that. Oh my god. That was beautiful. That's a lot of damage. Ya boy likes that big PP damage. So thing is very nice. Now, one of the big juicy parts about it is that it's a heavy blade. Because uh, I know hammers are typically the go-to for slam attacks. Especially because they all have the fancy stuff, right? Like Archititrin's slam capacitor, the fancy exploding augment for Jack Katag. Or what's another hammer that... There's another hammer... Um, Sampo Tees, I think it is. I don't have it. But uh, Sampo Tees, which like sends out shockwaves everywhere is an option. 
and I think there's one more. I don't know. You get the point, though, right? Like, usually it's the hammers, but you can use a heavy blade with a slam build, which means you can go with, you know, or if you like heavy blades, then that means you can use the heavy blade. You got the different stance options. You got the, the different skins. You can go... <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know why. I forgot to mention. Uh, uh, this thing is tiny. Um, for whatever reason... It, the skins on it are, uh, this skin on it is smaller than it's supposed to be. Like, look, if we take this and we compare it to a normal melee, like, let's, let's take Graham Prime. That's the normal size of this skin. And then you've got the bugged out weapon, which is Zenistar. It doubles its size. And then for whatever reason on Sorrowfang, it halves its size. <laughs> and that's really funny to me. It's like a little baby sword, little baby heavy blade. It's absolutely hilarious. I love that so much. It's so funny looking. Uh, but yeah, it's a very straightforward weapon. I definitely recommend giving it a try. I mean, I could show it with like armor strip and viral and different stuff, but um, I don't know. There, there isn't really a reason to. I mean, I guess gas is another option. So, like, let's say we... What would I do if I wanted to put gas in here? It's kind of hard to fit gas into this build. I guess we would remove quickening and voltaic strike. Um, we're going to lose attack speed, obviously. And we're also going to lose some scaling on our electric DOT. It's not the end of the world. But then we can add in virulent scourge and volcanic edge and now we definitely have enough statuses that condition overloads the play wait a second that was voltaic strike i think right oh no it's because of the order of things i was like why did i have corrosive there we go much better now we come back over here build our combo up like so might as well do this because I'm going to have to swing a few times to build the combo up. Or to get the melee influence everything going anyways. Yeah. Gas isn't quite as effective as the electric is. Because, I don't know, it just works better. It also would appear this weapon... I don't know if all weapons do. But uh, I'm sure you guys saw it. There were some blast procs. Um... I think the special attack from the Sorrowfang has a forced blast proc. That's how it would seem, because I was getting blast procs. I think, pretty sure this has a forced blast proc. But yeah, I would just stick with pure electric personally. I think that's likely going to be the best option here. Where was it? Then, you know, you can always buff that out. You can use it with Varuna. I don't have Varuna right now. Don't worry about that. But uh, you can buff it with other frames, like slap it on someone with a bunch of crit damage. Like, I don't know, Gara, you know, armor strip with corrosive projection. Add in vial procs from Panzer Vulpa Phyla. We don't need grouping because we already have grouping. Reset these guys, pull them, or not pull them in, uh, spawn them. Wait for our little bitch boy. Is it, uh, there's a gas cloud that's bugged that won't go away. Very strange. Yee, ya, yee. Yes, spread those viral procs for me, Poppy. You know, slap and pillage. All I need is melee influence, really. I don't even need Tenno Kai proc. There we go. And then, you know... <laughs> the suck wasn't even needed. But if they survive the slam, you know, they get sucked in and all the electric chains together. I know it's not the best option. You got better slam weapons with the other hammers. They are better. But if you don't want to use a hammer, I mean, you know, Sorrowfang. And it's better for normal attacks because hammers have 40% follow through. Where Sorrowfang, you know, as a heavy blade gets 60%. That's really going to do it for the uh, Sorrowfang video, I think. Very straightforward weapon. Very fun weapon. Very funny weapon. I recommend giving it a shot. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe. Adios.